Good morning, scholars. Happy Fine Art Friday. I hope you're doing great. I'm excited about the projects I have for you today. Um, we only have two weeks left of the videos that I'm making, so be sure and do as many as you can. Uh, the projects we're doing today, there's six of them. Two of them are pretty short, though. So we're making different cards. We're using newspaper to make newspaper collages. We have a shark newspaper collage, and we have a little cat. So those are super cute. With Mother's Day coming up, you can make a newspaper collage for your mom. We also have another newspaper collage. This is a cityscape. Um, they're just little card size. We are also doing a fun flower. Kind of crazy. And then we have a name card. As well as our draw and tell picture. I can't tell you, but this week's is pretty cool. So make sure and check that out. Um, I just wanted to give you a little update. Um, so I'm doing a virtual art show this year. Um, I'm not going to be taking pictures of your work from the school, since the school is kind of closed still, but I will be taking all of the pictures that you've been sending to me through Dojo, and I'm going to make a slideshow out of them. It'll have your name, class, and your teacher. Um, and so send me pictures of your artwork. It doesn't have to be from my videos. They can be any artwork that you've made during your in-home learning. And send them to me through Dojo so that I can go ahead and put them on the slideshow. The due date for that is May 10th. Last day I will be taking new photos is May 10th. With that being said, I want it ready to go on Dojo by May 14th, so I need to make sure I get all of the pictures in by May 10th. Thank you. Um, also, remember Monday office hours are from 8 to 8.30, no, sorry, 8.30 to 9, um, where you can come and chit-chat with the special team. If you do send us pictures of your artwork, videos of your lessons that you've been doing this week, we'll invite you to specials breakfast on Wednesday, and that one is from 8 to 8.30. So please do the projects, have fun, and we can't wait to see them. Uh, we miss you, we think about you every day, and we hope you're doing great. Remember, I'm on Dojo in case you want to chit chat, or in case you just want to stop by and say hi. I hope you're doing great. Remember to send me pictures of your artwork, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye! Hey scholars! We're going to do another newspaper collage. So I'm going to use some colored paper. I have an eraser, pencil, scissors, Missy's Nemesis glue, you can't see it, pencil, and a sharpie. Alright, let's do this. We're going to make a cityscape, so it's like a landscape, but it's a city. It's going to be a nighttime city, we're going to use this blue. Missy's making like little things right now, because I'm making, so it's Mother's Day soon, we can make cards for your mom, so just kind of play with it. So, this is what we're doing. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we also need newspaper. And so what we are going to do is just cut out different types of rectangles and squares from our newspaper. And so you can follow the lines of the writing and then just chop it wherever you want. If you go the other direction, you can do that too. This one will have triangle top. <clears throat> you can do skinny buildings. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a windy day today, so Missy is sneezing. Some can be super skinny, some can be chubby. There is nothing wrong with playing around. So we have about, we'll make two more, and then if we have too many, it's okay. This is going to be our backdrop. And we can just 
just start collaging them, putting them where you think they should go, where you want them to go. They can be um, in front of each other, maybe behind each other. They could be upside down. They could be right side up. Kind of just play with it. See which ones you like, see which ones you don't like. So let's see, I think I'm going to do this one coming off so I can cut it. And this guy will be behind those, or in front of those. This one here, which gives me that one there, and this guy here. I think that's going to be my cityscape. So now we get to glue everything on. Glue. Missy got glue all over our hands with the other projects today. So I am trying really hard not to do that with this one. It is bound to happen though. This is just a very simple little project, since the shapes are very simple, triangles and rectangles. And then we'll add some color and some windows, because what kind of city would it be without windows on all the buildings? Close kind of bar. And this was a big one. So you should check out um, the other uh, collage newspaper videos we did today. Newspaper is a really good resource because it's cheap. You will probably have it lying around your house, and it's something that you can find. So now, everywhere that is off the page, I'm going to go ahead and chop it. Alright, so we have the beginning of our cityscape. Next. We're going to use the Sharpie, and I don't know if this is going to work perfectly since the glue is still wet, but we are going to outline all of the buildings that we just glued on. So you'll really be able to see which ones are in front, which ones are in back. And then we'll probably do our windows with Sharpie too. If the glue, if it's not working because the glue's still wet, you can just take a couple minutes to let the glue dry. Or you can always speed up the process by going like this. That helps. Me, I'm just going to go for it. Unless it gives me really big problems, then I'll go back and let it dry. So far, so good. So Mother's Day is coming up, so we're making little small cards in case you want to give one to your mom, or your grandma, or your auntie of whoever you think of during Mother's Day. I want to send one to
to my grandma. She sends me cards, so I'd like to send her a little piece of artwork that she could put on her refrigerator. She has stuff all over her refrigerator. We are almost done with this part. Like I said earlier, I really like newspaper as a material because it's forgiving. I mean, and you're not really worried about using a bunch. You can use scraps. Um, it's really soft and fragile, so it does. It's not really thick. It doesn't add a lot of thickness to your artwork. Uh, and you can just find it in a lot of places. So here we are. I have to fix this part because it came undone. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some glue and then let it dry. Okay, so now you could do it with a Sharpie again. You can use markers. Sorry. We're going to do the windows. And so I'm going to show you just a few options. You can draw little squares. It's really up to you how many you draw. We make some buildings in my art room, and a lot of you guys like to complain about how many windows I tell you how many to draw. So you guys get to decide how many windows you want to draw on your own. My uh, Sharpie's getting glue on it, so I'm just going to use my scrap piece of paper. Now, let's see. You can follow the lines of your newspaper. So that's kind of cool with using newspaper also. It kind of shows you the lines that you need to use. And then let's see, I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to do little bitty windows. It's hard to do with a Sharpie because the tip of the Sharpie isn't itty bitty. So, give yourself, be patient with your art. If you want to use markers, you can do that. If you, you can use whatever you have, whatever you have, any single thing. You can use a pen. Pens have nice little tips. Um, it's just up to you. And so if you look at buildings, the windows are kind of in line with each other. So that's what I'm doing here, keeping them in line with each other and doing it like that. So I have three different buildings with three different windows. Um, now, I'm going to use a yellow marker and you can color some of the windows, the ones that you think have the light on. You can also color all the windows. Maybe they all have their lights on. And then just kind of add little things. You can also, instead of doing the outline in Sharpie, you can add windows just with the yellow marker. And it'll be whichever where you put them, like whichever windows you choose are on.
these guys. Ooh, maybe I'll make some windows that are this way. some of the ones we already have. Now I'm going to just do some yellow outlines and leave them alone. And then this guy I'm just going to do little dots. So now we're going to work on the sky, and so we're going to use some blues. I'm going to use oil pastels. You guys can use whatever you have. Yellow, purple, and maybe this gr Ooh, two greens. Okay. And so we're kind of doing it like the Vincent Van Gogh Starry Night. We're going to make a lot of spirals. And just kind of wherever. wherever you like. Not on the building, so this is going to be behind the building, so you want to stop when you get to the building, and you can go around the building if you choose to do that. And switch directions. Then we're just going to go with the different colors, and you can mimic the shape that we did. Or you can go around, just kind of add little details. Right? And then just switch your colors off. Switch, oops, I went in front. That's my bad. Switch out of your colors and just add different little areas of awesome. You can go as long as you want, stop whenever you feel like you like the sky. It's kind of dark though, so I'm going to add some pink. Just a little bit of pink. some orange too since we're at it. It'll look like there's fireworks in the sky. That'll be kind of cool. Awesome. And this is it. We finished. Good job. So this is a little cityscape with the crazy sky, but again, just using newspaper, sharpie, scissors, glue, uh, pencil, um, and something to color with. Great job, guys. We'll add it to our collection, and let's see what we can come up with next.